Well, I'm here with Lynn, and uh, she uh, got a breast cancer, which is, I think, very common for, for women. So mm -hmm. why don't you uh, share us your story? You okay. know, how did you get also to go all in uh, Qigong and how it helped you with the treatment? And okay. how do you feel right now? And okay. What was the sequence of events? Sure, sure. So um, I got diagnosed with breast cancer uh, last year, June. Uh, I had my surgery done in July and all my treatments completed this year, um, early April. So how I got to know uh, this Qigong is, mm. uh, I met uh, Mr. Yang, which is also uh, doing Qigong, and he saw that I was bald. So he then approached me, asked me if I'm a cancer patient, which then he asked me to join uh, this mm. uh, weekly session. So I was like, uh, sure, why not? Um, I'll just try. So for me, I started this Guoling Qigong only after I completed all the treatment. Some of uh, our teammates, they do it while doing treatment. Uh, but for me, I only discovered this after I finished my uh, treatment. So at that point of time, I was still uh, recouping my body. And then uh, I feel that uh, this Skoling Qigong allows me to recover uh, better. Mm -hmm. So it's been, I think, four months. Mm -hmm. And I feel that um, I, my energy is better. And also, I feel I look better, and um, some most of my friends, my family members, tells me that you know I actually look pretty normal now, mm -hmm. yeah, as opposed to four months ago. Well, I didn't know you before, but you definitely look very normal. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's for sure. Well, yeah. But so what you were saying that you basically first underwent the treatment. Yes. And the treatment was finished, but the Qigong helped you to recover, recover faster yes. and maybe prevent it from uh, just a uh, relapse yeah. of the, of yeah. the cancer. So, yeah. so I believe that commitment is a key uh, thing in uh, Qigong. I believe that it's a long-term uh, commitment and then only you'll be able to uh, see the results. So for me, I uh, do read the theory. And mm -hmm. I believe that, you know, it combines uh, TCM mm -hmm. and uh, other aspects. So, uh, mm -hmm. and also, uh, the, the teacher also teach us uh, uh, life values, which is also very important uh, when it comes to uh, cancer patients. So, it's mm -hmm. not just the treatment, it's not just what you do, it's what you eat and uh, how you think uh, towards mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, prior to joining this, I did some research online. So, I saw this article specifically mentioning Qigong. Mm -hmm. on, uh, so, there, there were two groups. One is a control group. Look, yeah. uh, the other one is the group that did uh, Qigong. And the second group which did Qigong actually did feel better mm -hmm. uh, during the whole process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the, really the main reason why I joined this because I wanted to uh, recover my body. Because my treatment was pretty long, my treatment was nine months, okay. and I felt my body was was destroyed by the treatment. But what I, is the yeah. chemotherapy? Or yeah, so what? I did um, surgery first, mm -hmm. and then after surgery, immediately I did IVF, okay. which was very tiring. So I did, did two cycles of IVF, and then later I did six months of chemo, mm -hmm. and then three weeks of radiation. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so by the end of the radiation, my body was really really exhausted yeah <laughs> so i really wanted something to help my body recover okay. and i feel fantastic now actually okay well yeah. that's that's great so <laughs> yes. i think that's a great message to every every woman i would say yes. and every cancer i think patient, there's no harm yeah? trying because you know every morning i'll just go out and get some fresh air yeah. and just uh, practice and mm -hmm. uh, i think long term it will help to prevent it from coming back again and this is what I believe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, yep. that's great. The belief yep. counts as well, yeah. Yep. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having okay. me. Okay, thank you. Thank Thanks. you.